Hey there, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and thanks for clicking on my video for my flat top mountain hike today. So I am starting out, um, there's two ways to go um, according to all trails. You can go the pinnacle and go up or you can start out at Abbott Lake and then go up. So right now I'm starting at Abbott Lake and this may look familiar to my viewers who actually saw the sharp, sharp top mountain hike that I did which is right behind me. Um, hiked all the way up to that summit and I'll link that video as well and I actually did a hike around Abbott Lake the next day when it was kind of rainy and I'll also link that above as well so you can see. But anyway so um, flat top is the sister mountain mountain to um, Sharp Top and they're both 4,000 foot mountains. So yeah, I'm gonna climb. Um, it is 4.7 miles um, up to the top and over 1,700 feet in elevation gain. So yeah, right behind me is the Peaks of Otter Lodge and it's beautiful down here because they have Adirondack chairs and fire pits and everything right on the lake. So just beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to get started on this hike and get going and show you what the views look like from the top and all the interesting stuff along the way. Look how beautiful that is. So this is Abbott Lake and yesterday when I got here there were at least 10 otters swimming around on their backs. It's really cool to watch that. But your path from Abbott Lake, you're walking down right now. Um, this is the Peaks of Honor Lodge, and these are the places that you can stay. And the trail just continues on past this lake to get up to the top of Flat Top. So I'm already out of breath. I don't know if you could tell, but straight from the start after you pass the picnic area, it's uphill and it continues to be uphill because it's over 1700 feet in elevation. So yeah, out of breath already. All right, down to my short sleeve shirt, stripped off two layers. Beautiful day, 70 degrees but sweating like crazy with this elevation climb. Whew, all right, time to get going. Still going up. Gosh. I'll show you guys the elevation profile so you can see how the steepness looks on the elevation map. Y'all, the reason I have not been videoing is because it's straight up the whole way. There's no flat spot. So I've had to use my hiking poles and I've been so out of breath. You wouldn't be able to understand me. And normally I don't video when I'm out of breath. So just chugging along and I'll show you some of the trail on the way down so you can see what it looks like. But for right now, I'm working, working hard to get up to the summit. Getting close to the top. This is really the first flat section probably for two miles. So you can hear my breathing. You gotta work for this one. It's hard. It's rated as hard and I agree with that rating. It is a hard trail on all trails. And a little bit of a view I'll pan.
USGS markers in a really tough spot to get to, but I got it for you. So made it to the top of Flat Top Mountain. Um, there's really not a lot of viewpoints up here. There are, there's one where the USGS um, survey marker is and there's a small little rock outcropping for a couple of people. And the other boulders that are up here are obstructed tree views. So kind of disappointing um, after you have trudged um, 4,000, one foot um, up to the top of the mountain, not to have much of a view, especially when you've been at the top of Sharp Top and you've had such a phenomenal view from, from that mountain just right next door. And there's a ton of bugs um, flying around. I'm not sure what they are, but they're kind of biting, kind of like no CMs gnats. So anyway, well, spent a little bit of time up here and now it's time to head down and I'll try to video more of the trail for you so you can see um, exactly how steep it really is if videoing will even do it justice. This is why this trail is tough too, because, oh, and it's all there. There's like two feet of leaves, and you don't know what's underneath. You don't know if it's a pointy rock, you don't know if it's something wet. Yeah, so it gets really stuck. I've literally almost bit it five or six times. So pretty through here, because you can see so far up the mountain because all the leaves are down on the ground. Hey guys, so just sat down to take a load off of my feet. Um, I'm at the Peaks of Otter picnic area which the trail passes right by and I'm almost back um, to the parking lot. So just sitting right here at this beautiful tranquil sounding creek and just dangling my feet over. I'm ready to take these shoes off because that was a hard hike. It was hard with all the slipping on the leaves and the leaves are covering the rocks and they're sharp pointy rocks and then it would just make your ankles like go to the side so much and I twisted my ankles a bunch um, and I had already done that yesterday when I hiked uh, Falling Water Cascades and then the other one was at uh, Orchard, Apple Orchard Falls. So yeah, so I'm already pretty tired. But anyway, it definitely a good hike. You don't get very many views um, from the top, which you know, you, you can't have phenomenal views with every hike that you do. But if you were gonna choose between flat top or sharp top, I recommend sharp top. So much more area up at the top to look around and sit down. There's really no place to sit down very much to take a load off your feet at the top of the mountain. So anyway, all right guys, well, thank you for um, sticking with me and watching this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. And check out my other videos if this is your first time watching um, my vlogs. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, bye-bye.